Let's look at a small example on how to calculate the annual holding costs. Uh, we have a company, the Nadan company, currently maintains an average inventory of Omani Real 1,040,000. The company estimates its capital costs at 12%, its storage costs at 5% and its risk costs at 8%. Now, what are the annual holding costs of the Nadine company? Uh, recall, the holding costs are just the sum of the storage costs, the risk costs and the working capital costs. So we just need to sum up these percentages and take them from the 1,040,000 money real, which gives us annual cost of holding inventory for 260,000 money real. Here be careful um, when you read something like this 12%, 5% these are in this example and in general or often on an annual basis uh, but maybe you only hold these items for a couple of weeks in your inventory then the annual costs would be is 260,000 but if the holding period is not a full year but less then of course the annual holding the, the holding costs the actual holding costs also go down now what are some ideas what are some ways to reduce the physical inventory uh, you can read the slide yourself so I don't need to uh, explain all the items but let's just pick the first one as an insurance or the reason why we have inventory yeah, if the reason for holding inventory is you want to have an insurance against uncertainty yeah, for example safety stocks for when demand supply is not perfectly predictable so we want to have an insurance against uncertainty and in the example we have safety stocks uh, for times when the demand is not the average demand yeah? and we it is not as predicted from by us so what are ways to reduce the inventory in this situation one very good way is to improve your skills in demand forecasting so using better forecasting methods using more advanced methods using more data from different systems, from different data sources, uh, all these things can improve your forecast and then we can reduce our safety stock level. Let's look at this point. Why do we hold inventory? We want to take advantage of relatively short term opportunities. An example for a short term opportunity is that suppliers all the time, in particular in the retail industry, offer discounts, time-limited discounts. Uh, only valid today or only valid during this week. You all know this from grocery stores shopping. And what is the effect on, of this? Of course, as a customer, well, many customers are happy about this and then they buy a lot of products for the low price more than they actually need for the near future but then they have the product in stock themselves and they don't need it in the future anymore though so that means although consumers might use a product every day frequently they only buy it when they get a big discount because they already know there will be a discount any day soon so they can wait for this to happen and then they're demand their sales behavior is very fluctuating and can change quickly this can create a lot of problems and if you're dealing with these cases and you're suffering from these problems try to persuade your suppliers to have some everyday low prices so they should not give you discount but they should give you the real price for which they can earn money and that is a good price for them and they should stop charging very high prices for sometimes when they know nobody will buy anyway 
and charging even big discounts like 50% in other times. Uh, this just creates um, trouble for your supply chain. And it increases the inventory that you actually are holding.